Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabatu fillah Ad-da'wa ta ahlu sunnah As-salafiyya What is salafiyya? We have to have an understanding because now there are many people who claim to follow Kitabillah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam follow the madhab of the salaf and they claim salafiyya but in fact there are criteria there is a methodology in order to understanding Salafiyyah. Is it something new? Is it something that comes from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Alim Ajma'in, what they were upon? That is what Dawah to Ahlul Sunnah. That is what Dawah to Salafiyyah is. And as our Shaykh, Shaykh Mukbil bin Hadi al Allah Yarhamahu, he said, Dawah to Ahlul Sunnah, Dawah to Nili Kitabillah, Min Kitabillah. وَمِنْ سُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِلَّا سُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ He said that the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, talking about the minhaj of the Salaf and Salafiyyah, that it is the call from the Qur'an to the Qur'an and from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وعلى عليه وسلم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِثْلِ مَا آمَنْتُمْ بِهِ فَقَدْ اَحْتَدَوْا وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّمَا فَإِنَّمَا هُمْ فِي شِقَاقٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says And if you believe by uh, similar to what they uh, and if they believe similar to what you believe then they are guided and if they turn then they will be in divisions. And this shows us that the Dawah to Ahlul Sunnah is a Dawah of Ijtima, it's a Dawah of uniting the believers. But it's uniting on what? Is it uniting on a particular or specific uh, political agenda? Is it uniting upon uh, a particular nationality or race? Or is it uniting based upon Kitabillah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Madhab of the Salaf? That's what we have to ask ourselves. The Prophet Sallallahu said, If tarakatil yahuda la itta wa sab'in firqa, wa if tarakatil nasara la ithnatain wa sab'in firqa, wa sataftariku hathi umma la thalatha wa sab'in firqa, kullaha fin nari la wahida. Kulla men hiya ya Rasulullah, qala men kana ala mithu ma kana alayhi wa ashabi. O kama qala nabiyu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Jews will break into 71 sects, and my ummah into 72 sects, and the Christians into 72 sects, and my ummah into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And the companions, radiallahu ta'ala, and they said, and who are they, Ya Rasulullah? The Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. That's the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. That's the Madhab of the Salaf. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin." It's upon you my Sunnah and the Sunnah of the rightly guided predecessors. And this is referring to who? It's referring to the Sahaba. And who from the Sahaba is it referring to? It's referring to Abu Bakr radiAllahu taala anhu, and Umar radiAllahu taala anhu, and Uthman radiAllahu taala anhu, and Ali radiAllahu taala anhu, and this is who the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin were. That they were rightly guided. And their sunnah is our sunnah. Anything that they did and anyone does, in fact, that is in accordance with the Quran and in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, we take and we accept. This is the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. This is the minhaj of the Salaf. It calls us to unite. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, وَاَعْتَسِبُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا so Allah orders us to be one, but on what? Adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah. And do not divide. So Allah did not order us to just come together just because we're Muslim best, and that's it. So then this one makes takfir of the, of the Muslims. And then this one says, go against, rebel against the leaders. And then this one says, go make khuruj for 40 days and go to India and Pakistan to renew your iman. And then this one says, 
Let's start a new political agenda and unite upon that. And then this one says, let's go to the graves and dance around the graves and make tawaf. No, Allah did not order us to just unite all of those factions, all of that sectarianism, but rather he orders to squash the sectarianism, find true brotherhood based on leaving all of the innovated matters and coming to an understanding which is the extent understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, uniting based upon holding on to the rope of Allah. And as the Mufassirin, the people of Tafsir, they explain, the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to the Quran. And some of them say that the rope refers to the Sunnah. And some of them say the rope refers to the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So that lets us know that it's according to this adherence, this unity, is based on the Qur'an and the Sunnah and adhering to the correct menhaj and methodology which is the rope of Allah, which is the menhaj of the Salaf, which is what the Salafiyun of today are upon and the Salaf from before us were upon. And that's what we want to be upon. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq. And may Allah bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, and iman, with ihsan, with taqwa, with sabr. And may Allah bless us up with Alan Nafi, Ruskin Taibo, Amin Mutakabinin, and bless us with Jennifer Dose, with Salah Wasalam and Nabiya Muhammad, while Ali was happy with Salam.